G'day everyone, it's Patrick, the Cattlesaw vlog bloke here. Just over a year ago, on the 7th of June, 2021, I went to hospital in the middle of a stroke. I had a large lacuna stroke. And when I say it was the middle of a stroke, a lacuna stroke can take some time uh, even several days to manifest itself completely so my symptoms came on slowly and they got worse over a period of about three days my stroke happened in the basal ganglia which is a deep part of the brain and is a known area of the brain that is can be affected by cattlesaw Now a lacuna stroke isn't caused by a clot. Um, the nature of cattlesaw is if you have no plaque in your arteries, it's not really possible for a clot to form. Um, but lacuna strokes occur deep in the brain, in the small arteries, the really small arteries, the descending arteries which are incredibly narrow and as the blood vessel walls that deep down there become thicker and become narrow the lumen the part through which the blood passes can become so narrow that blood flow is in, impeded considerably therefore oxygen levels go really low and in some cases um, the artery can almost, if not totally, close up and hence the stroke. Now the stroke affected me down my left hand side. Um, my um, as a result, a year later, uh, my left leg is still stiff, especially the foot. Um, my left hand um, has bits and pieces of kind of numbness and is not as um, dexterous as it was before the stroke and it's lost a lot of strength. Um, the left side of my face you can't really see it here, I suppose, but I don't know, maybe, can you still see a bit of a droop in my face? Um, the left side uh, of my lips are kind of numb, uh, and that's the why they'll remain. So, um, you can't really do anything to stop a lacuna stroke. It just doesn't occur in cattle, it can occur in other uh, cerebral small vessel diseases as well, um, particularly in the elderly. Their, um, their arteries start to um, have a similar occurrence as to what happens with the arteries in cattle. Now lacuna strokes can be small. I had a very small one back in 2017 um, from which I completely recovered. Um, but this one is going to have permanent ongoing uh, effects in my um, left arm, my left leg, um, my face on the left side. And also for some reason, um, I have um, ongoing pain since the stroke in my left scapula um, or kind of between the left scapula and the rib cage. Now my lacuna stroke was um, 15 millimeters long which is as big as a lacuna stroke gets. You can have a similar type of stroke which is larger but they aren't known as lacuna strokes. I did read about it, what they're called, but I don't know what it is now. 
um, but yeah as I say um, in catastrophe strokes can happen without having any of the normal risk factors for stroke that are caused by um, clots i.e. having um, plaque in your arteries which can then uh, break off and either travel to the brain and block a vessel further up or uh, less commonly in catastrophe you can have um, hemorrhagic stroke um, which of course is ears a bleed so it's probably a good idea to try and keep your uh, plaque levels under control and I do take a, a blood thinner um, for pedigrol there are others and uh, the reason for that is to obviously um, stop the blood from forming too many um, clotting issues especially when, come, when it comes to the uh, those smaller deep arteries that are so tiny deep in the brain. Um, lacuna okay. strokes are called lacuna um, from a Latin word lacune which means lake um, and the reason for that is because lacunes cause a uh, result in forming holes in your brain which show up on MRI and those holes become filled with cerebral fine, uh, spinal fluid okay thanks for listening um, got any questions comments just let me know peace and love to all catch you next time